it's just like a lot of little like toddlers playing on the floor. Mm-hmm. Who are these toddlers? I think they're my children. Mm-hmm. How many do you see? A lot. A lot. Eight. Eight? Mm-hmm. Are they male or female? Take a look. Both. Both. Mm-hmm. And as you look at these toddlers, what else do you see in this place? Table. Table. Mm-hmm. What kind of table do you see? Like a wooden dining table. Mm-hmm. Is it a new table or an old type it's table? Old. Old. Mm-hmm. Look around. What other furniture do you see there? Not very much. Not very much. Mm-hmm. And as you look at this scene, I'd like for you now to notice yourself as you're walking in. Look down at your feet. What do you see? My work boots. My work boots. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What else are you wearing besides just work boots? It's like blue jean pants, but they're homemade. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> are you wearing a shirt? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does your shirt look like? I think it's called chambray. It's kind of like blue jean, but it's light blue. Mm -hmm. And look at your hands. What do your hands look like? Worn, mm -hmm. tan, calloused. Yes. And let's look at your face and your hair. What do you look like? Kind of like my hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Worn and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 34. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this scene. Who are these children? They're mine. Mm -hmm. I think I just got home from work. Okay. What kind of work do you do? Construction. Construction. So let's go inside and let's see your whole family. Tell me what happens as you walk in that door. My kids come up to me. Mm -hmm. They're happy I'm home. How do you feel? Happy. Mm -hmm. Connect with those children. Connect with that feeling. Connect with the happiness and just fill your entire body with happy. What else is going through your mind? I'm sad because I'm leaving. Where are you going? I have to leave for work. There's no work here. Mm -hmm. I have to leave uh, to make money for my family. Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss them. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to look at these children. Take a good, long look at these children and tell me if you could see their eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes? Do they seem familiar? see their eyes and mm -hmm. kind of all blend together. All right, very good. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene now and let's move forward to the next important scene from that lifetime. Be there now. 
Where are you? I'm out in the field. <coughs> I'm working there. What kind of field work do you do? I'm building a railroad. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you for, to connect with your feelings and tell me what's going on and with your emotions. I'm tired. It's long days. Mm -hmm. I miss my I miss my home. Mm -hmm. I miss my kids. Mm -hmm. I think one of them died while I was gone. Mm -hmm. So feel those feelings. I don't really want to be there, but I know I have to. Mm -hmm. Out of obligation. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Is there anything important about this place where you work? No. Some of the other men are mean to me. They're like rude. I'm younger than most of them. Mm hmm. How does that affect you? They think I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do my job. How does that make you feel? <clears throat> Just frustrated. It makes me want to not be there even more. Mm -hmm. But you're stuck there, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see how long you're there. I'd like for you now to close that scene and let's go to when you finally leave this place. And the next significant event happens. Where are you? What do you experience? I don't I don't know where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Do you have a physical body? Yeah. I'm trying to get back home, but I'm lost. Mm -hmm. Are you walking or are you... What's happening? I think I, I have a horse, but something's wrong with it. I can't ride it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like... Um, you know, leading it by a rope. Yes. So check in with your emotions. Tell me what's happening. The more you talk. I feel okay. I mean, I'm, <clears throat> I'm smart. I, I have some food. I, I think there's a, stream or something ahead. I'm thirsty. I need some water, but I'm in the mountains and I'm not sure which way to go to get home. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. Uh, I have uh, uh, one, of, one of those um, those like round things that the cowboys have that you unscrew the top and you can put water in it and mm -hmm. canteen or like something. a canteen mm -hmm. and uh, I'm at the stream and I'm putting water in it and uh, I think I think Indians are watching me mm -hmm. like um, American Indians mm-hmm What's going through your your senses? I want you to just connect all your senses. What do you feel? I feel okay, but I'm a little on edge. I'm not sure if they're friendly, mm -hmm. if they're going to approach me. It's starting to get dark, and I know I need to like make a fire. I feel confident in myself, but I'm... 
I'm just a little unsure, mm -hmm. you know, who they are. All right. So I'd like for you to advance that scene, fast forward it to when something actually happens. The leader, they come down and talk to me. Mm -hmm. I already have my fire made. They watched me a long time. They watched me set up camp. Mm -hmm. And they were talking, but they don't, they don't know a lot of English. Mm -hmm. They just know some words. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to communicate, but they seem friendly. And <clears throat> I think they're trying to help me. They're trying to help me find my way. I'm asking about a pass, and I'm describing like what what a rock formation looks like that I'm I'm trying to find that helps like guide me home. Mm -hmm. But I, I've gotten off the path somehow. So I think they're trying to give me help to get home. They're friendly. I feel comfortable with them. We share some food. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else interesting or important about that? There's a lightning strike, mm -hmm. like a storm's coming in. And mm -hmm. There's something significant about the lightning strike, but All it right. just gets my attention, but I, I don't know wh why. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens next. Close this scene and advance it to the next important scene. Well, you'll know the answer. I wasn't far off the path. Mm -hmm. What's happened? My house caught fire. From the lightning. <laughs> I'm running as fast as I can across the pasture to get to it, but like there's nobody around. I don't know where everyone is. I don't know if they're inside or. <laughs> Tell me what happens. I can't get very close. The house is it's completely in flames. I can't even get, I mean, the heat's just too much and I'm angry with myself that I, can, I can't get in because I don't know where anybody is. I don't know what to do about myself. <laughs> So I'd like for you to advance that scene. Advance it until there is a resolution, until you know what happens. The house is burned down. It's just like almost nothing. It's just ashes mm -hmm. on the ground. What's happened to your family? I don't know, I'm afraid they're gone, but I can't tell if they were there. There's nothing left. What do you do next? I'm, try I'm trying to get to town. Well, my horse is worse. It's in bad shape. I don't want to leave it, but I think I'm going to have to. Mm -hmm. Just, I just tied it to a tree by the house. And I'm going to try to walk to town. So advance the scene until you reach your destination.
happens when you get to town. I thought I'm talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew, you know, that the house even burned. I don't know. I don't know where my family is. Someone said, um, they thought What did they think? They they thought my mother <clears throat> they thought my mother took the children to visit family out of town. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to I'm trying to buy a horse. I'm trying to find someone to sell me a horse so I can ride there and see so it's too far to walk. Mm-hmm. What happens next? I'm riding, I'm riding just fast, 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 fast. Mm-hmm. As fast as the horse can go. All right. I'm going to snap my fingers and you'll be there. What do you see? What do you experience? I'm at a house. <clears throat> I see it. I'm getting, getting off my horse and I'm going up to the door. And I don't even knock, I just walk in and all my kids are there. <laughs> all my kids are there and I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they weren't even at home, they didn't even know about the house. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel now? Very relieved. How does that change your perspective about your life? Just so grateful. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd lost everything. (sighs) They're so big, you know, I haven't seen them in a long time. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that we know that, I'd like for you to close the scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Move forward now to the last day of your life. Where are you? I'm in that same house. Mm-hmm. Are you the same age or older? No, I'm a lot older. Mm-hmm. What's happening there? I'm just laying in a bed. Mm-hmm. Are you alone or are there others with you? No, it's like a whole bunch of people. Mm-hmm. My kids and our girls and my grandkids are all in the room. Mm-hmm. How do you feel with all your family around? I feel happy. Mm -hmm. And as you're there with your family, what thoughts are coming through? What are you thinking about? (laughs) It's been difficult, but it's been a good life. I'm proud that I kept my family together. My my wife died many, 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 many years ago in childbirth. Mm-hmm. She's never 
been there, just my mother like took over raising my children mm -hmm. and uh, she is gone now but my kids are grown and they're together and they're all healthy and happy mm -hmm. it feels good doesn't it yes. yes so with that thought in your mind and that feeling in your heart, I'd like for you now to take your last breath in that lifetime. Taking that last breath and detaching from that <clears throat> body. And as you detach, tell me what happens. What do you see and experience? I see myself like from an outside perspective, like a like I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm looking down at myself in the bed, and mm -hmm. I see my family. Yes. And from that perspective, you could see that life totally different. You could see the purpose of that life and the lessons that you learned. What was the purpose of living that life that way? It's okay if it's hard. <laughs> you know, it's still worth it. Mm hmm. And what lessons did you learn? Be grateful for family. Mm -hmm. Very good. And as you detach even more, tell me where it is that you go after you leave that scene. Where does your spirit go? In the stars. In the stars. Describe it for me. I'm just like floating through the stars. It's mm -hmm. like a night sky, you know, it's dark, but all the lots and lots of like twinkling lights. Mm -hmm. And as you go through the stars, do you have any type of body, any form? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Just like energy. Mm -hmm. It's like a. It's almost. <clears throat> I picture like like a, a piece of glass that has like a handprint on it. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that, the, the print, mm -hmm. you know, like a hand, not shaped like a hand, but like just that mm -hmm. print, you know, translucent. So where do you go in these stars? Let's follow and see. Keep going through it until the scene changes. What do you experience? Tell me everything you see. I still just see stars, like darkness and stars, but like... <clears throat> The word Pleiades keeps coming to mind. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to follow that word, that thought. In that form, your intention takes you there. And tell me what you experience. What happens next? I'm like um, meeting with some people. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting with some people. They're like in a like together in a room, but the room doesn't really have like form, you know. Mm -hmm. How many people do you see in this room? Eight. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to connect with them mind to mind. Who are these eight people? Council. Council. Mm-hmm. What is the reason for you being in this room with the council today? Mm -hmm. 
like discussing, making some decisions about me, what I'm... Are you separate from the council or are you part of them? I think I'm a part of it. Mm -hmm. And what do they look like, this council? <coughs> they appear to you. Everyone looks um, like older, mm -hmm. long, uh, white, hair, some men, some women. Mm -hmm. Are they wearing any type of attire? Yeah, we all have uh, like the same thing. It's like uh, robes, mm -hmm. like white robes. White robes. So now that you're in this council, we're going to hone in on this conversation. We're going to hone in on the reason why you're there at this time. As I touch your third eye, you'll open up to all of that information. What's the reason why you're together today? discussing and making decisions like about you'll understand fully you'll understand the big concepts we hope other souls figure out where they're going to transition to next. Mm -hmm. There's a big, um, we're sitting around like a, it's like we're sitting around a table, but I don't, I don't see, see the table. Yes. But in the middle of the table, <clears throat> there's like a big, like a really large, like dome shaped, like stone, mm -hmm. kind of greenish. I, I think it, I think it represents earth mm -hmm. and we're using it to make decisions somehow. So just take a deep breath in and allow yourself to just acclimate even more into the mind. You'll understand it fully. What decisions need to be made today about Earth? <clears throat> the stone, like, um, it, it rotates. It's like, it's like a globe, but only a portion of it sticks up above the table at a time and then we can like move it to different where like different locations are featured above the table mm -hmm. and we're making decisions like where we send souls depending on what's needed mm -hmm. Who are these souls that you send? Just other souls that have um, uh, chosen to incarnate on Earth mm -hmm. to help the planet. So these souls that are sending, they're volunteers? Yes. They're not 
directed to do it? No. No. Okay. No, they volunteered to go. Mm -hmm. So what is the reason that Earth needs these souls? There's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. What kind of work? The vibration needs to be raised. Mm -hmm. It's really struggling, and some areas are struggling more than others, and different souls bring different skills. Yes. And so we're like deciding where they can have the most impact. Mm -hmm. Where are you gathering these souls from? Where do they come uh, from? There's like a line going down a hallway. Mm -hmm. And then when the next one in line like steps up and <clears throat> the council moves the globe around and decides the location and then that soul like takes off almost like they're wearing a jet pack and just whoosh mm -hmm. and it's just like like heads like head first just you know just faster than the speed of light just yes. zooms to earth and and what are the specialties that are needed at earth at this time that these souls have. How is it that they're raising the vibration? Teaching. Mm -hmm. they're, they're going to teach. What is it that they teach on Earth? They teach... <clears throat> they teach people they come in contact with not to be afraid of what they really feel inside. Mm -hmm. That... That they know the ultimate truth. Mm hmm. What is that truth? That they're one with Source. Mm hmm. That they're powerful beyond their current belief. Mm hmm. And will they remember that when they get to Earth? Eventually. Mm hmm. At different ages, some when they're young, and some maybe not until they're very old. Mm -hmm. But when the time's right, they will. So the ultimate is to remember that they are one with Source. That's what they need to remember. That's what they're teaching mm -hmm. the people. <clears throat> they will remember some of the souls going there will remember their purpose when they're young and some will remember their purpose when they're older mm -hmm. but their purpose is to teach the when the people on earth that they come in contact with to to teach them mm -hmm. that the ultimate goal in life is is not to collect stuff you know it's to to share love and, re and uh, appreciate Gaia and 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 return to Source ultimately mm -hmm. that they're that they're one with Source. They don't. There's no separation. No, and there and there's no. <clears throat> There's no rules. They don't. They don't have to worry about the, you know, reading the right books and following special rules. They know inside themselves what is right and what is true. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be taught these things. They don't have to go to a building. They don't have to be told by other people. They just need to look inside themselves and they, they will know the truth. Mm -hmm. It's in there. You don't have to be taught it by someone else. 
So these, this is what these souls are teaching. Yes. Has Gaia ever had people on, on it that knew this already? Absolutely. So what happened that they forgot? <clears throat> For millennia, but the powers, the powers, the dark, darker forces, have brought in artificial restraints like rules and money uh, to control people and to try to keep the majority of the power on Gaia dark and it's the balance has been tipped it's in the past it's in the recent past it's tipping more towards the dark and so we are sending more souls to earth with this mission to empower the people and awaken those that will be awakened and and some will not. <clears throat> what happens to those souls that are not awoken? They will continue to live in the dark and perish with the earth. Mm -hmm. So what is it, what is the reason why this soul, this entity named Pamela has been brought to earth? What was the decision that was made for her to come to earth? Is she part of this council? Yes, she's a part of the council. They, she's very powerful. There, there's so much work to be done, and some of the souls that are coming are losing their intention with the negative powers mm -hmm. on Gaia. And so she has volunteered to come as a rep representative for the council. Mm -hmm. She's very powerful. She can help find uh, the souls that came here with the right intention and help remind them mm -hmm. of their purpose and help bring them back to the light. If this soul was so powerful coming in to Gaia, why did this soul choose a family that was so mm, in the dark? So she can understand how these souls that came here with that intention, how they can be trapped in the dark. Mm -hmm. Now she understands how even the, the right intention can get trapped. Mm -hmm. But she's awakening. Mm -hmm. So why has she had to have these experiences? With so much pain? So she will have patience. Mm -hmm. with those stuck in the dark. She knows what it's like. Mm -hmm. Did she choose all of these experiences? Not all of them. Mm -hmm. Some of them were just the darkness mm -hmm. catching her at times of weakness. Mm -hmm. How is she doing now? Much better. It's uh, it's like a caterpillar mm -hmm. and going through the chrysalis mm -hmm. and then emerging again. Yes, as a butterfly, and she's starting to emerge. Mm -hmm. So. 
she's at that first stage where she is uh, still going through the pain of mm-hmm. emerging mm-hmm. and being fearful of her power mm-hmm. that it doesn't seem right even though she knows inside that it is yes but this emergence has caused a lot of pain in her body yes she's even having her fingers are not even operating anymore she's having sensations in her body she's not able to work anymore why that she's used her body too much and not her mind mm-hmm she she suffers when she uses the computer too much. It can be a portal for darkness if not used carefully. Uh-huh. Is that why she shut herself off from that? Is that a self-imposed restriction? Or has that been infiltrated by the dark to keep her back? I'm sorry, Alba, I don't understand the question. Has she self-imposed those restrictions on herself? The pain? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. It's the only way sh- she can stop herself. Okay. Is if it's so painful in the current body to to do it, she'll mm-hmm. stop. Okay. Does she need to have this pain anymore? Does she need to have this painful reminder Or do you think that she is at a point now where she can trust herself to not use that pain? Not yet. Not yet. She's getting there, but she still has work to do. Okay. She needs to eliminate these things from her life completely in order to progress. All right, let's find out what are the things that she needs to eliminate. Tell me one that she needs to eliminate. Meat from the diet. All right, what's causing? What's meat causing in her diet? She can't truly progress her purpose on Gaia if she doesn't restrict that urge to consume other inhabitants of the planet. Mm -hmm. It's been an important part of her life in the past and she feels like it's impossible Mm -hmm. to step away from. She can still have fish, but she needs to eliminate All red meat and chicken. Mm-hmm. What about pork? No. No pork. She hasn't had pork in a, in a pretty long time. All she right. can't have pork. So those things that walk on the earth. Yes. Those sentient beings she cannot consume. Yes. Okay. And, and fish are sentient beings as well. However, they were put here to help sustain life. Okay. So they have a purpose? Yes. Okay, very good. What else is keeping her back from progressing? The television. Mm -hmm. She needs to just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Don't even have the machine in in the house. Mm -hmm. What happens when she watches the television? She gets consumed in it. Mm -hmm. She gets feeling emotions that are connected with the negative power, watching the news, Mm -hmm. watching anything that shows violence. Mm -hmm. And she knows that she feels it. She feels it in her body. She hates watching it, but she gets in a trance Mm -hmm. too easily. Yes. And she will watch it for hours and it just pollutes her mind and it wastes her time, Mm -hmm. and it removes her from her purpose. So your suggestion would be just to remove the box, remove the television? 
Yes. Okay. What else? What else does she need to eliminate from her life, these distractions, from her purpose? The internet can be used mm -hmm. to connect people, but she has to eliminate everything that is not serving her purpose. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What in particular? She says she watches, for example, shows on Gaia. Obviously, she watches my videos. Those are fine. She watches those on a, on a different device. Okay. Those help enlighten her mm -hmm. and awaken her and make her feel not alone in what she's experiencing. Mm -hmm. Those are encouraging, but almost anything else is detrimental. Okay. Anything that has news on it, that has... Eliminated. Eliminated. 100%. Okay, good. It also keeps her indoors. She has to be outside so much more. Mm-hmm. So what kind of activity should she be doing? We brought Lucy into her life to help with that. Mm -hmm. Does Lucy know what her purpose is in, in her life? <laughs> yes, but Lucy is a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can't express it. She can't talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> she talks to her mm. in her mind. Yes. But... So if she spends her time focusing on Lucy's needs to be outdoors too. Absolutely. Will that help her? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens when she goes out in nature? She relaxes. Mm -hmm. She connects with her true self. She re-energizes her power. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you would suggest? That she either eliminate or add. Just be near water. Mm -hmm. What moving what? water? Moving water. It has to be moving. What does moving water do? It has energetic characteristics mm -hmm. that fuel the spirit. It cleanses mm -hmm. the spirit. Mm -hmm. She cannot <clears throat> be in stagnant water. Mm. So she needs no lakes, for example. No. But she could be in the ocean. She could be in a stream or a river. Absolutely. Okay, good. Now she tells me she's always alone. Is that on purpose? Or has she kept herself alone? Yes, yeah, she's choosing this because of her pain. She's mm -hmm. fighting her purpose. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to keep her in physical pain. Being still is actually more painful for her than moving. Mm -hmm. So the joint pain forces her to get up and move, but she needs to move outside. She struggles with meeting people. She's in a very isolated area mm -hmm. that does not have other souls. She needs to travel more and be out meeting new people. Mm -hmm. No one is going to come to save her. She has to save herself. Okay. And she knows this. That seems to be the same thing that happens to a lot of people, doesn't it? Yes. Is this what's going on with all of these volunteers, that they seem to all be doing the same thing? Keeping alone? There's so much density mm -hmm. on Earth it's so heavy here. It's very challenging. Mm -hmm. I mean, even for her, and she's from the council, so you can see the other souls <clears throat> struggle in this environment. Mm -hmm. And so 
so they need to find one another Mm -hmm. but they have to get out to do that they actually have to make the the decision to get out there yes Mm -hmm. good and then once they connect with one another it will create a web Mm -hmm. if you will around Gaia and that's what we're plan is to create this web and the more points in the web like ley lines Mm -hmm. the more guy will benefit so you're saying that it's very important for these volunteers these souls who have come here to connect with each other yes okay as you know with your gathering yes it strengthens the web very good so it is very important for them to meet yes and just be with each other yes okay very good but see i know that pamela feels very different than others she is different okay can you tell her why it is that she's so different because she is from the council okay and as from being from the council does that have any other how does that set her aside from others She has more power, but that means she has more responsibility. Mm -hmm. This responsibility is very heavy. Mm -hmm. She must get out there and fulfill her purpose here because it holds back other souls from being able to fulfill theirs. That's why she was sent, because she has to join these other souls in places where it's lacking. Mm Mm-hmm. So, is there a reason why she went to Hawaii, for example? Was she supposed to be there? Absolutely. That's where she learned. Ah. That's where she separated herself from the negativity Mm -hmm. in a physical sense. It's a very enlightened environment. She was in the ocean almost daily. It recharged her. Mm -hmm. It is what it took for her to break through the chrysalis Mm -hmm. and begin her emergence. Mm -hmm. But now where? Ever since she's come back from Hawaii, she has felt her, her body begin to fail her, begin to get stiffened. Yes. Where should she live now? Back in Hawaii. So she needs to go back to Hawaii. She does. Mm -hmm. She struggles with the thought because Mm -hmm. it feels isolated. Mm -hmm. But that's where her power is. And with that power, she can transcend Mm -hmm. space and connect with the other souls that she's here to help guide. She doesn't have to be with them physically. Mm -hmm. She can connect with them through space. Okay. She tells me she feels detached from people. Is that on purpose? She's had a hard life. Mm -hmm. A lot of pain. Mm Mm-hmm. She's okay. She feels detached for protection. Yes. Is she doing anything else for protection? She thinks she's protecting herself by isolating. Mm -hmm. It's not. This is one of the... Reasons we've given her the physical issues Mm -hmm. to force her to get out and move more, Mm -hmm. and this will put her in line with connecting with the right people on this planet and fulfilling her purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, during doing her purpose, she's come here to teach. Is that correct, or what? What is she supposed to be doing? More of a a powerhouse. Okay. She's here just to put the energy in the web Mm -hmm. to connect the other souls so they can do their purpose. Okay. She just needs to reconnect with her energy and meditate and send out 
her vibration. Mm -hmm. But while she's doing this, I know that she is a human being now, and she's supposed to be doing, uh, putting out this web, but as a job, <clears throat> for example, doing something to be of service of others. Yes. What can she be doing on earth while she's here? She needs to be speaking to others about the truth. Mm -hmm. Talking to people. Many people have these thoughts and feelings about ascension. Mm -hmm. But if it's not discussed, they never tell anyone mm -hmm. because they feel like they're not proper thoughts to have. Yes. They're not accepted. So she needs to <clears throat> speak to everyone she can. She can travel and speak to people about ascending and that this is the goal of our souls on this planet. Mm -hmm. And to she needs to talk about Gaia mm -hmm. and taking care of Gaia. She needs to encourage people to live simpler lives that respect Gaia and her resources. Mm -hmm. What about her past? Should she be using her experiences for the benefit of others or herself? No. No. Leave that be. Yeah, it will not benefit it will not her serve. to keep bringing up that discussion. Mm -hmm. If she helps raise the vibration, those issues will become less common. Okay. So, really talking about her past is almost like turning on the news. Exactly. Okay, good. Now, I know that you said that these things that you've given her, these illnesses, are to hold her, to keep her moving. But it seems like the immune system is, is attacking itself. Is that what's happening? It's because she's rejecting her purpose. She is rejecting her purpose. Yes, the, mm -hmm. the negativity, the not fulfilling her purpose and allowing herself, when she knows better, to get caught up in the negativity and the density mm -hmm. of this planet. It's taking a toll on her physical human body. Okay. Can that be reversed? Yes. Mm -hmm. When when she lives properly, it will be reversed. Okay, very good. Now she tells me that as a child she has psychic abilities. Did she of come did she come into this earth knowing more about her purpose and being able to connect? Yes. Okay. So what happened to those psychic abilities? When she was vulnerable as a child, mm -hmm. she was taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And because of that, she shut them down herself. Okay. Where has she put all of these psychic abilities, all of these things that she came in? They're still there. They're still there. She just closed her heart chakra. Okay. And as you breathe that through, see if now look down at that root chakra and see how that has affected the root chakra. Is there something dark there? Mm, all right. Is that something dark that 
Pamela has <coughs> made or has it attached to her? It's attached. All right. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to put my hand over that area and begin to bring up that energy. And as I do, I'd like for you to go ahead and give this energy your lips and your voice. You there. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Acarus. Acarus. Mm hmm. Acarus, how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Acarus, what year is it for you? <coughs> I don't know. Mm. We don't keep time. You don't keep time. Where do you come from, Acarus? Egypt. Egypt. Mm hmm. So tell me, Akaris, what is it that attracted you to Pamela? I found safety. You found safety. Ataris, did you ever have a human body or any type yes. of body? What happened to your body? I was killed. How were you killed? I was murdered. By whom? Some men in the village. Mm-hmm. What was the reason they killed you? I was <coughs> their sex slave. You were their sex slave. And what happened that they caused you your death? I tried to escape. Okay. So... Did you ever go to the light, Akaris, after that? Or did you just wander? No. I don't know about the light. Okay. So, Akaris, since you've been with her, how long, how old was she when you found her? In the womb. In the womb. And why is it that you were attracted to her in the womb? She's powerful, so I wanted to hide there. Ah. I thought she could protect me. Has she protected you? Yes. Mm hmm But, Akaris, you see, this is not your body. When one loses their body and it dies, you need to go to the light. Did you not know about the light? No. You see, Akaris, everyone comes from the light. That is our source. And that light is within you. And if you look now carefully, you will find that light. <coughs> Go ahead. Tell me, Akaris, when you find the light. There may be a tiny, tiny little speck, but it's there. I see something white, but it looks like a lamb. Mm. Look for the light within you. I think it's inside the lamb. All right. Let's take a look and see why the lamb is there. What does that lamb represent to you? It was my companion. Ah. So your companion has come with you to remind you of this? I think so. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. What is your lamb's name? What did you call your lamb? Ambi. Ambi. Mm-hmm. So if Ambi has come with you and showing you that light, I'd like for you now to look at that light and make it bigger. All you have to do is use your mind. Yes. And how does that light feel to you? It's good. All right, let me. All right, let, now let's make that light even bigger. Tell me that how that feels to your soul. Feel safe. Mm-hmm. Is this what you were looking for? Yes. Yes. 
So tell me, Akaris, all this time that you've been with Pamela, how have you been affecting her? Have you been talking to her? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. What do you make her do? I just tell her to stay away. Mm-hmm. Stay away from what? From me. From, from her sex organs. From her sex organs. Mm-hmm. Is that benefiting her? You don't know. Sometimes she feels like there's two people inside of her. Is that you? Yes. Mm hmm. So, what have you been trying to tell her? Are you trying to just keep her safe, too? Try to keep you safe. Type you? Uh -huh. Okay. So, now, Akaris, that you're feeling this light within you, do you need to have her anymore to make you feel safe? So. I don't think so. So I'd like for you to make that light even bigger now. And I'd like for you to look through that light and tell me what's on the other side. What's on the other side? Like a, like a tunnel. Mm-hmm. Does it feel good? Yes. Yes. So Akaris, I'd like for you now to tell Pamela what you feel about what you've done to her all this time. Telling her to keep away. Thank you for letting me stay here. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in now, Pamela. What would you like to tell Akaris? Can you forgive him? Yes. Yes. Are you ready to release Akaris now? Can you forgive deeply? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now, Pamela, to go deep inside of that root chakra, into those organs, and I want to s you to see all of the ways in which a chorus has connected to your organs. What does that look like there? Just like a, <clears throat> like a mesh. All right. So I'd like for you to just use your own light and begin to pull out I don't want you to cut anything, because you know what happens when you cut little bushes. They just grow back. I want you to pull from the inside all of that mesh, all of those roots. Pull them out. And as you pull them out, I'm going to ask my Archangel Michael to come by. And I'd like for you to give him all of that mesh that you've had. And he has this blue flame sword, and he can just dissolve all of that himself. Go ahead and do that, and tell me what's happening as you're pulling all that out. What do you feel? Archangel Michael has a basket, and yes. I'm filling it up. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Like a wicker basket. Mm-hmm. Good. And tell me when you're done. I'm done. Very good. So now, let me address Akaris. Akaris, now that she has detached you completely from her body, I'd like for you now to go with Archangel Michael. He's going to take you straight home to the light and tell me when you get there. Okay. What do you see there, Akaris? Mm, what does she say to you? I missed you. Mm, give her a big hug. And may the light of the universe always accompany you, Akaris. Thank you so much. Good. And I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael to step forward. And through your feet, begin to put in all of that beautiful green healing light, saturating your entire body, filling that space where Akaris was, filling your heart, Filling your hands, your spine, your neck, all of those areas that need healing. And that green light is like a lubricating light. So that anything that tries to 
attach itself again will just slip right off. And as it heals, I want you to just scan your body once again and see if there's how that root chakra looks now. It's good. Good. So I'd like for you to begin spinning that chakra, spinning it as fast as you can. And let's move up the chakras. Move up the next chakra and spin it as fast as you can. Continue in your own pace until you get to the crown chakra. Make sure that they're all spinning as fast as you can make them spin. Energizing that body, bringing it back to life. And as we look at that, I'd like to ask now, what is the reason why Pamela has had to sleep so much? What has what happens in her sleep? She's downloading messages. From She's us. down. Okay. And is this from the Pleiades? From the council. From the council. Is the council in the in the Pleiades or somewhere else? In the Pleiades. Okay. Very good. <coughs> and knowing now that you are part of the council, why is it that she has had so much objection? towards Christianity, towards Jesus and God. What caused all that? She was taught very young that the St. James Bible was the truth Mm -hmm. and the light and the only way Mm -hmm. to source. Yes. And she's always known inside that that's only less than 1% Mm -hmm. of the truth and the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So now that we understand that, that she is on the council, is there any message from Jesus or from God directly that she needs to hear today? We are here. We are with you. While information gets distorted with time, the message of love is real. Mm-hmm. And you are a part of that. Mm-hmm. Good. Thank you so much. And briefly, we we talked to Michael. Is there any message from Mike B for her? I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Has Mike gone to the light? Yes. He's an angel. He's an angel. Very good. If he's an angel, I want to know why she had so many problems, challenges getting to this appointment. Was there a reason why, again, there were challenges? Yes. Just to learn that because something is difficult doesn't mean it wasn't meant to be. Okay. Okay. So one of the difficulties that she is experiencing is being able to finance going to the introspective hypnosis class. Should she be taking it? Does she need it? No, it's not her time yet. Not her time yet. Okay, very good. So is there a reason, a particular reason, why you brought her here to this session today? What did she need to know? many reasons she needed to know that her mother had her own challenges. Mm -hmm. She does not need to feel betrayed. Her mother was not capable of protecting her. Mm -hmm. 
she should still love herself. And that she is powerful. That she does have a purpose. And... <laughs> She often prays to transition, but she will be here a long time, mm -hmm. so she should just fulfill her purpose and she'll find her happiness. She's only unhappy because she's fighting. She's fighting against her true nature. Mm. Very good. Any other advice? Don't worry about everyone else. They'll be okay. You have a purpose that's higher than any any of that. Good. That's what will make you most happy. Mm -hmm. Fulfill that purpose. Everyone else will be okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> back. How do you feel? How's your body feel? It feels good. Mm. I feel lighter. <laughs> oh, my chest just popped. Oh, interesting, huh? How much do you remember? I think I remember all of it. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it was? Um, probably an hour. Mm. An hour and a half? Yeah. Do you feel a little bit different? I do. <laughs> you did a lot of work today, huh? You saw a lot wow. of things. My chest, I mean, it It feels good, but it, it almost feels like sore. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and my, like, my cheekbones there feel weird. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Icarus, Icarus, what mm -hmm. was his name from mm -hmm. Egypt? That Egypt. was weird. Mm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to share some of this? Yeah, that's fine, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We could take some of the personal stuff out. Sure, mm -hmm. well, whatever you think. All right, so Paolo, we, we're done. Right. And, uh, <laughs> we're sure. Woo. I think we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you were telling me before is that you don't cry much. I don't until I step foot in here. <laughs> it's you, Alvin. As soon as I was in your presence, literally did that. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I stepped said, in the door, get I started me some bawling. tissues. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. what was the reason you came here? Uh, I just had, I, I had a lot of uh, issues with getting beyond my past, mm -hmm. and those issues I think were keeping me from figuring out what my future is supposed to hold. Mm -hmm. So, and do you feel you were hypnotized? No, <laughs> <laughs> that is a very weird sensation. Yeah. Yeah. I really didn't. At first I thought it wasn't working. Yeah. And, and we, t and we talk about that before we, we, we go into hypnosis, we, we discuss right. the things that are going to happen that you're going to be saying, I'm not hypnotized. I don't think this is working. Right. Right. So your, yeah. e your ego was sitting there talking. Yes, yes. At the beginning. But like you said, if I just concentrate on your voice and, yeah. and just whatever craziness pops into your head, just yeah. let it come out your mouth. But and it I was mean, you were, fe you were feeling it. I mean, you were feeling this man, um, yes. with the house. With the, and you and knew, the eight children. Was it eight children? Eight children. Yeah. I could never see their faces. But you you knew. Yeah, I knew I had eight children. That's and they amazing. were in very young. I think I even had like some multiples. Maybe there were some twins or triplets in there. And and your wife had died at childbirth. Right. And so my mother took care of the kids. Right. So that was I mean, how would you make that up, you know? Oh right. I I wouldn't have a clue. Right. Right. Yeah, that right. was Oh no, it definitely feels completely real. Yeah. Once you relax into it and let mm -hmm. it let it flow, you're not making it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's completely real. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's that was really So would you would you recommend this experience to others? Oh no, run like the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Yes, I absolutely 100% would. I, I actually would like to do it again at some point in the future. What? I already know that. <laughs> yeah. And how far did you travel? Where, where are you from? Oh, to get here? Yeah. I'm like, when I was over there, woo! <laughs> Traveled a long way. So where is it that you're um, living now? I, I came from uh, the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. In Missouri. And right yes. now, this session is taking place in Charlotte, North Carolina. Right. So uh, you did have to travel a bit. and Yes, a full day yeah. of travel. From and, and all of it has, you know, we, we had quite a bit of uh, information from your guides, from your higher self that... You know, the challenges that you're having in your life really are supposed to be there for Apparently. a reason. So yeah. this is, you know, uh, this is the reason why this session is so great is that a lot of people say, why me? Why me? Why me? Why am right. I doing, you know, why is this happening to me? And it's really not uh, happening to you. I mean, this is the, you're supposed to be going through this for a reason. Right. And uh, you've been told no more meat. Right, no which more meat? really, except for fish. Yeah, fish was which, put here on the earth, I guess, to, 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 to for consumption. Right, but no meat, nothing, no chicken, no, right. no, no chicken, red, no red, red meat, meat, no pork. Uh, you were told get yourself out into nature. Yes, get yes. yourself out there talking with people. Yes, get out out of my comfort. No zone. TV, no TV, no TV, and no computer except for those, those enlightening yes, channels things not, that are specifically to enlighten right. and awaken. And that's great for everybody. That's not just for Pamela. This is for everybody. <laughs> I don't, I haven't watched TV in, uh, it's going to be close to 10 years now. Wow. Uh, I have not had, I have not had cable. <laughs> I've not had cable. I do, um, everything through the internet and, um, yes. Uh, really, I stay away from anything that's news or right. violence. I, yes. I, I don't even go to the movies anymore because if you'll notice, most movies are very violent yes. and I have no tolerance for them anymore. Right. So right. Uh, as you ascend, you realize what you should and shouldn't consume and, uh, you know, watching is also consuming. Uh, so yeah, this is a great session. It was amazing. It really was. Yeah. And I really tried to come with an open mind, Yeah. but you still, I mean, you, you just don't know no, what's you going to come up. And it was, yeah, it was, yeah, I'm sure I will watch this and yeah. think about it for a long time yeah. and continue to yeah. learn and yeah. And during the session, we did have a very personal part that has been edited out because, um, you know, when you come to the session, uh, we do do hypnotherapy and um, not just past life stuff. We do hypnotherapy and those are very personal uh, things. And I, I don't share that with other others. So right. that, that helped you too, didn't it? It did. You, and you know what, this is, this is going to sound kind of bizarre, but when you just said that we had a per it almost took me a minute to think about what you're even talking about. Right. Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it, <laughs> amazing? it seems like it never has left my mind my entire life, exactly. you know, and now it's just yeah. like, what is she talking about? Yeah. Oh, Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so gone. I That's hope you, so gone. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this session. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, you know, I, I, I love all my sessions, but you know, we're in the moment of now, so I'm I... enjoying it now. So thank you for watching. And I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Uh, go to my website, subscribe to my, uh, newsletter. And when that comes out, click on it and we'll see each other then. Do if you're meant it. to be. Okay? When the time is right, it'll happen. You'll be here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Give me that hug. Oh. <laughs>